Hello, cheers for checking out today's episode. So, we've got the Pucker Parts long wheelbase chassis for the Optima Mid. So, I've got the Optima Mid World's Edition and as good as it was, it's just a little bit twitchy for me with the short wheelbase chassis. So, I know a few of the lads at the club of running with the long wheelbase chassis so i've gone on and selected the one from pucker parts there are a couple of companies that do a long wheelbase chassis so you've got pucker parts you've got lightning components um there's a few of us out there that will do them as well but i went with pucker parts purely for the fact that i've used their stuff before and i've got their carbon chassis kit for the turbo optima so it just goes hand in hand um the chassis, all nicely cut. Everything's count sunk that you're gonna need. Top deck. And then you'll get your rear camber link, which again is nice thick. Rear shock tower. You'll notice it's got the bridge on here. Basically, these are a bit of a weak spot just on here. They can snap. Um, obviously you've got the shock pushing up and levering over there so this just gives it a bit of extra support so it's good to see that and front shock tower again the main thing is you've got more multiple adjustment points and these other little bits i can't really remember where all these bits go but um to be honest i probably won't fit that's the the motor guard obviously because i've got the world edition it's got all the gunmetal parts to it so steering link i think that bit so there will be a lot of this that i won't fit purely for the fact that i've got the gunmetal alloy and i want to keep as much of that as i can but chassis top deck i think the rear camber link because it may be a lot more adjustment on it than the original so these are the parts that will get fitted so obviously i need the car so i'll bring the car over and we'll be uh, making a start so obviously i've pulled all this apart because i had to get the diffs out because if you see my previous video in there we've got a diff that's lost all its teeth so luckily the front and rear diff are the same so i'm just going to fit it back in um so you're going to the longer wheelbase it's i've just measured it it's about 18 mil longer when you put it up so around about 18 mil extra length obviously more width a lot easier to get your radio gear in and everything um you are going to need a few extras so penguin we all know penguin body shells. I've got under tray and a body to suit. And the other thing you're going to need about the way are some longer belt covers because your original ones, as you can see, just ain't going to cut it. So these are now surplus. We've got the new ones. Uh, the kit belt, obviously the kit belt isn't long enough, so I've just gone on eBay and found one. Uh, you can get a kit from Model Sport. Um, it comes with bearings, but I don't understand what the bearings, if they're definitely needed or whatever, someone can probably tell me, but obviously you've got your longer belt there. So the old belt, no longer needed. And then, like I say, the rear camber link, we will fit it purely for the fact that it's slightly thicker, probably about a mil thicker. Um, adjustment, it's got just as much range of adjustment on it. So the front and rear shock towers, the rear camber link, top deck and chassis are all getting swapped out. All the other little bits I've still yet to look at. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do, is start transferring everything over um your battery positioning mounts go on here so you can move your battery around 
and it's just going to be a case of putting this together as we go along so got the manual so i'll pretty much go back to the start where it's getting everything fitted so i'll get all the belt fitted and then get all that fitted onto the chassis so what i'll do is i'll put all this together and then once i come to around this point i'll jump back on and i'll let you know if uh there's anything to watch out for or if everything's been hunky-dory all right we're just jumping back into the build so front and rear are all on so this is still running the ball diffs but yeah the shock towers mean they are meaty as anything uh obviously that i've decided to keep i'm going to keep as much of this as i can so yeah We'll just uh, crack on. Cut the car just in a million bits. But uh, obviously your belts need to be longer. So these are the ones from Penguin. All I've done is just sealed down with a little bit of foam, bit of glazing tape. So that'll keep all the muck out. And then these just needed, it's hard to see, they just needed the ends squaring off. Back needs putting down on there. There we go. But yeah, we'll uh, crack on with the build. Right, jumping back into the build. So, as we can see, pretty much all there. So, um, the little screws that go into the carbon chassis on this one, the holes, they don't go in. So, up on there, all I've just done, gone through with some different screws. And then put some nylock nuts on. Uh, these ones I've not put in yet because I've got to get the battery clamps in which are here obviously you've got various options on where you put the battery i'm going to get it as far forward as possible so i think it's going to end up sitting about there so i should be able to get another screw in there but uh yeah nothing major obviously the top and bottom belt covers you do have to cut them what i'd say is cut them out in little increments just trim off what they need i've got a slight gap in the back there but it's nothing major and again i've just put some foam tape just running along the top it's just this stuff it's like glazing tape i believe and then it's like twice the, twice as thick as that so i've just cut it in half and then run that down but yeah all the front is on got the rear shocks to put on but obviously i've got to get the electrics in yet may have to cut a bit out of here for where the motor goes in i don't know so i've not cut it out obviously the under tray it's not for this specific car and chassis so if you're doing out like this you've basically just got to fit it cut it where it needs cutting obviously it was all the way down onto the arms in there it just limited movement slightly i've um, left a little tab on the back so it's held on with some screws and then the front just gone through trimmed it so it fits on there it sits under there so that's nice and flush um the fronts these are the original cut lines Obviously, it's still got the film on it at the moment. But, yeah, loving it. So, all that's left to do now is get the body cut, which I've started. Uh, I did make the mistake, and I cut to the original cut lines. So, on the back, I've just been test fitting. I've had to cut off all this back section because... It's now got this brace along the top. The body can't sit and hang over the back because that's there. So basically the body's going to be cut up to this point here. But uh, yeah, loving it. So the rear camber link, I've left the stock one on purely the fact that with the other one being slightly thicker. Oops. So it's hard to see. But it's just ever slightly thicker. I'd have to get different 
screws to hold the rear anti-roll bar link on and I've not got many at the moment but it's not offering much you've got plenty of adjustment on the back on that one anyway so I've decided to leave that that one on I did want to leave it original anyway uh, the rear <coughs> link you get a nice little carbon one obviously this has the good metal alloy I wanted to keep as much of that as a, on as I could um, this one it's cut rounded and it fits over the back of the chassis nicely so where you've got this little can't quite see it you've got like a little bit that sticks out just in there um, just had to file that down just to get a bit of edge off so that that fitted on nicely but yeah cracking through so all i'll do now is i'll get the under tray off get the battery holders in get the electrics in spur gear cover and then we'll see how badly i've cut the body shell out and see what needs doing but loving this at the moment um yeah like i say it's about i think i've measured it it's somewhere around about 18 mil maybe 20 mil longer wheelbase but uh it should make it a little bit easier to drive for me but uh i'll crack on and then we'll jump back right we're back and it's all done so there is room don't have to cut anything out on the back in there uh obviously you've more real estate space so the esc sits in there nicely um yeah that's pretty much it all done so i've got the batteries in obviously can't quite see they're just there so I could maybe move the battery back one, but to be honest, I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, I've had to put the receiver up like this purely for the fact that with the server where it is, it doesn't quite fit. So I wanted it in. Um, so I've just stood it up, but it's in there nice and tight. Got the cover on. I was lucky with the body. So how the body was on and the original cut lines... hard with one hand but just needs a little bit of trimming maybe but i'll play around with it obviously the back that call that off because that's all up on there but yeah loving it so it's all done um oh i've put the carbon one on there just purely with the fact that get it in the light it's it just gives you more room for where the battery terminals go on so everyone knows that you've got to either turn the tabs round or clock the motor so that the terminals are down here or up here but i've soldered new wires onto the esc battery wires i've not done yet but i can get them done once i get some new ends but yeah she's all ready for her maiden voyage next weekend so we'll see how it goes obviously we're on carpet um your rear shock mounts you've got lots of holes however you can only use the three outer purely with the fact that you can maybe go in one possibly but you've, you're very limited because you've got the motor i um, sorry the spur gear cover just on there and i know a lot of people are like always oh, well what's the point of that well you can actually swap the shock, mount it on the back, and then you've just got to flip the arms around so that the shocks then sit on the back. It does shorten the wheelbase slightly. I don't know exactly by how much, obviously, with the long wheelbase conversion. I didn't really want to mess about too much, but it's done. I'm happy with how the, the shocks are sat on there. The battery's all in. Uh, the battery mounts nice and simple just little anning uh, sorry two mil yeah just two mil screw screw it in they're in nice and tight but yeah love it happy i've done it um but yeah 
we get in there so i've got to get the body sprayed i've literally got i think three weeks and then we've got the euro master so obviously the ultima is all done this one will be getting there so i've cut the hole out for the spur gear for the slipper so basically you can get a box wrench on there and you can actually back the slipper off without having to take the whole thing off um i need to play around i may have to turn the nut around so put the nut on backwards so to speak because that means that the nylock bits on the thread because it's fair i mean I, I do it's probably not even loose enough now but it's only just on as it is but uh yeah what i'll do i'll go and grab the xls and we'll just uh compare wheelbases right got the xls so wheelbase wise your xls is just ever so slightly longer not by a massive amount but well, I do love this car. Need to give it a good clean. Uh, obviously, the other car we have is the 870C. And it's pretty much identical now. So, width pretty much there. Sorry, length. Have a quick look at the front width. So we've got, so the Yokomo loses out ever so slightly on width on the front. XLS, pretty much exactly the same. Oh, it's gonna be hard doing the rear. Rear. Yeah, about the same for the XLS. Dogfighter loses that again. About five mil, something like that. But, yeah. She's all done. Ready to go. So that's it for this one. So obviously, I've got the Turbo Optima which has now been not pulled apart, but make it easier to work on. This is basically just um, top deck, front and rear shock towers and a carbon chassis going on that. That's going to be the, another video, um, different body shell and under tray again. But yeah, that's it. So that's the pucker parts. And uh, obviously there are other people that make them. Um, um i know there's the xo i think it's xo design lightning components uh richard isherwood does one as well but i went for the pucker parts one really happy with it went together really well the little carbon motor mount good little addition and uh that's about it obviously a couple of bits that i didn't put on rear camber link hanger uh you get the little steering part and I think that's what it is anyway because you get that as not too sure what this is didn't actually re work out what it was but I think it's for the steering maybe don't know but it ain't going on and then obviously that's the little back plate and then from the original kit Got the motor mount, rear shock tower, front shock tower, top deck, and the chassis. So you can just see how much wider the chassis is. And that's how much longer it is. So it's about 18 mil longer, but you get all that extra real estate. It makes it so much easier to get electrics in. So yeah that's it thanks for watching hope you've all enjoyed it any questions fire us a message if you watched the video and you've enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you haven't thumbs down whatever but uh yeah hope you all take care and uh we'll see you all soon